If you've watched any of my Ninja Turtles related videos, you know that I am devoted to the Eastman and Laird original independent comic if I have a choice. Now, I was part of the original generation that saw the Playmates toys and was introduced to the line through the cartoon and the Playmates toy line in 87 and 88. So yes, the Cowabunga, the pizza, that was the way I was originally introduced to the Turtles. But very quickly after that, we were collecting comic books. I was collecting G.I. Joe, and we would go to a store called The Great Escape in downtown Nashville to pick up back issues because the Marvel comics always had those little asterisks that said, this happened in issue number 31, and I would go, oh, I gotta go get issue 31, and that was the only place to get them. And while we were there, my brother discovered the graphic novels of the original Ninja Turtle comics that had been collected in paperback form and colorized. We didn't know they were black and white originally, but we knew this was the original Ninja Turtles. And we were pretty blown away by what we saw. Ninja Turtles murdering human foot soldiers in full-on martial arts combat. Blood was flying, the Shredder blew himself up with a grenade falling off of a rooftop. It was awesome. After that, I admit I lost a little bit of respect for the Ninja Turtles that were popular at the time. I didn't really care anymore about the multicolored headbands, the pizza, the cowabunga. I just wanted the original Ninja Turtles in toy form, which wasn't gonna happen. And those comics revealed to us just how much of a hybrid the original live-action movie was between the cartoon and the original comic. Several decades later, NECA would come out with the original Ninja Turtles in action figure form. Form, and at that time, I didn't have any money, and so I didn't end up buying any of them. And then they went up in price, and then I thought, well, I don't want to pay hundreds and hundreds of dollars for modern action figures secondhand. And so I just said, well, Ninja Turtles wasn't my biggest thing in life. It's no big deal. Moving on. But then, surprise, surprise, a friend of mine gifted me with the four turtles. Now, I want to be clear, I don't know if these are authentic NECA or one of the many knockoff sets that have been sold over the last few years. However, I don't care because from every indication, the knockoffs are made off the original NECA molds with slight variations in plastic quality, paint apps, things like that. By all indications, the knockoff figures are just as good as the NECA figures. They're just different. And when I did the tests on these, every time there was a tell that seemed to indicate these might be knockoffs, there was another tell that indicated they were authentic NECA. And finally, I just gave up and said, these look great. I don't know. I don't care. What I was immediately struck by with these figures was the immense amount of detail that makes them look like they're the original artwork, and I find that extremely impressive. They look like the original artwork has come to life in plastic, and that is mind-blowing to me. Another thing I really like about them is their scale. They are slightly bigger than the original Playmates Ninja Turtles, and that makes them pop on a shelf a lot easier. Now, that's not to say the original Ninja Turtles were too small, but they were short enough that they just don't have the impact that these do. And these deserve that impact. They are the original comic turtles, and so they deserve to have some stature. As with all Ninja Turtles action figures, it becomes difficult to differentiate them in the sculpts because they're all turtles. Now, the the cartoon ones get away with it a little easier because they have the different colored headbands and they have their initials on their belt buckles. But this is the original comic book art, so not only do they not have those stupid initials on their belts, but they also don't have multicolored headbands, which looks cooler, but it means that the sculptors have an added challenge in order to make them look like the original characters. And in this case, I think NECA really knocked it out of the park. Michelangelo has a kind of fun-loving, light-hearted, goofy expression. Donatello has a very calculating, concentrating expression, Leonardo looks like the leader, and Raphael looks ticked off. Another huge improvement as compared to other Ninja Turtle action figures are the designs of the weapons. Not only do the weapons look completely accurate to the original comic book, but they have so much more added detail and impact visually. You have actual metal chains holding Michelangelo's nunchucks together. You have Donatello's bow, which is not just a symmetrical cylinder, but it actually has character like a wooden bow staff drawn in a stylized comic book. And Leonardo has those very unique katana blades that they drew in the original Eastman and Laird comic with the very long Ninjato-like handles, but the more katana-like blades. 
I've heard some people express frustration that aside from Leonardo's sword scabbards, there are no accommodations on their belts for their various weapons, but you have to remember that in doing that, that would make the figures less accurate to the comic book, because the original characters just stuffed their weapons in their belts, aside from Leonardo, who had scabbards for his swords. All in all, I love the result that NECA achieved with these figures. They were never marketed towards children as toys. They were marketed toward adults that they knew always wanted original versions of the Turtles as action figures, but were now adults themselves. And so I have no problem knowing that these were not designed to be toys. They were designed to be posable statues that you put on display with the rest of your collectibles. For me, these are the last word in Ninja Turtle action figures. My journey with Ninja Turtles is now complete because of these. I don't need to go looking for any others. I don't think this can be improved upon as far as capturing that original Eastman and Laird Mirage Comics look. And so I'm not going to be doing any more looking. I've finished my journey. It's been a success and I can't thank my friend Dan enough for surprising me with these. I can't tell you how awesome these are. And if you're looking at these and thinking there's no way I could possibly afford them, the knockoff prices, which seem to be off the original NECA molds, are not bad. If these are knockoffs, I'm 100% happy with them. And if they're authentic NECA, I'm 100% happy with them. Either way, these are the Ninja Turtles figures that I've always wanted. And so they're gonna go into a place of honor in the screening room in the studio. So thank you, Dan, for sending these. Uh, this is a real thrill for me. It's a 30 year journey, probably a little over 30 years. Um, and it's finally complete. A 30 year quest is over, uh, by surprise, no less. I'd heard a lot about these figures over the years. I'd heard a lot of people hyping them, gushing about them. I'd watched reviews online and they really do hold up to expectations as an adult collectible. Now, as far as being a children's toy, that's not quite up to snuff. And the reason I say that is because while they do have a lot of built-in articulation and things that you would see as playable, a lot of that articulation is slightly hindered by their shells and their complexity, things like that. The weapons, while they're sort of kid safe, they have a lot of little pieces like Leonardo's sword pommels. The pommel comes off so that you can more easily take the swords out of his hands without breaking his fingers. And the fact that they had to worry about fingers breaking and things like that means that these aren't toys that are ready for every everyday child play and potential abuse. These are for grown adult collectors who love the Ninja Turtles and just love somewhat esoteric pop culture. And in that sense, they're a 10 out of 10. Hope you guys enjoyed this. Thanks for watching this and I'll see you on the next video. Just because my journey with Ninja Turtles action figures is at an end doesn't mean yours has to be. If you want to watch more Ninja Turtles content, you can watch our two-part Ninja Turtles feature starting here, or you can watch our Ninja Turtles playlist here. And now I'm going to go figure out where to put these awesome figures.